In terms of understanding the inspiration of the writings or of scripture, we often speak of the Bible or scripture having two authors, a divine author, God, and then a human author. Could you talk a little bit about that? What does that mean? Uh, let's start with Bill. Mm. Well, that's the beauty of what we do because uh, we do believe the Bible is authored by, by God, but he used human authors to produce it or to inscripturate the text. And that puts upon us a burden both to read it devotionally, listening for God's voice as his word to us, but also to try to understand as best we can the role of the individual humans who had a hand in it. And that means that the text is not a, a flat, standardized sort of text. It varies from book to book because it had different human authors involved. And uh, that makes scholarship important. That's why we study history, why we study the Bible in the original languages because they had distinctive vocabulary and phraseology from author to author. And uh, that just makes it more interesting from a human perspective, but it also makes it a rich text. Uh, it's layered with all these nuances that we miss if we don't appreciate the human origins of these books as well. But of course, as Christians, we believe it does have this dual nature. Uh, it's sort of an, uh, an inscripturated, incarnational, if you will, word of God for us in, in the church. I think sometimes we have some misconceptions about inspiration. I, I think there was times when God spoke to a prophet and it was from God's lips to the prophet's ears to mm -hmm. the audience, uh, sometimes called something like mechanical dictation. I think that sometimes happened. But what impresses me more and what seems to have happened far more often is that God didn't <coughs> inspire them impersonally. He inspired mm -hmm. them personally. So we see their whole personality in what they've written down. We, we see their literary style, their interests, their theological acumen or ethical mm -hmm. in, in, interests. That's what we see. And so we have the Word of God in the words of a variety of human beings. And uh, viva la différence, we should celebrate <laughs> the differences. 